So here we have our banana pie M20, which comes in this generic banana pie box. But if we look on the back, we are sure that it's definitely M20. It says it down there. And if you're wondering about the price of this board, this is one of the cheaper single board computers. But the price seems to vary a great deal. But I found in late February 2020, you could purchase it for twenty dollars ninety-nine or twenty-six fifty-four. So let's open it up. I think it's very simple. We just open the box like that. Under all, we are anti-study bag, which is a seal. So we are bringing the MR scissors to get inside here. There we are, cut into the bag. And here we have our tiny little 35-core RAM computer, which is based, as you can see, on an all winner 82 plus system on a chip which contains the ARM Cortex A. Two super core running at up to 1.2 GHz, and an ARM Valley 400 MPR GPU running at 600 MHz. Located next to the system on the chip, just here we have a RAM chip. This is a 512 MB of DDR3 RAM. And then along here we have a wireless module, which provides a Tor 11B, GNN Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.0. Next to that here we've got our micro SD card slot. This slot supports a card up to 64 GB. Inside and then at the other end of the board, we find a CSI or camera serial interface connector, into which you can plug our SD Pi compatible camera. In terms of other connectivity, on this long edge we find a mini, not a micro, a mini ATMI connector supporting up to 1080p video at up to 60 frames. AR and DN then. Over here, there was a micro USB port for power, and another micro USB port for connecting peripherals, and this also has OTG capabilities. Also on this side, between these, we find buttons, a reset button and a power button, which Rather is rather nice. It. And we've also got a connector here for if you want ten. to extend the range of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Finally, the last connectivity I've not mentioned are the pads on the top of the board, where you could fit a Raspberry Pi compatible GPIO connector. If you wish, you could fit, for example, a header like this. This one of a nice one with the colors on the pins. But you could solder in a connector for all kinds of GPIO work with this board. And finally, we'll flick the scene over to see there's anything on the back there isn't. There's just a sticker which stopped me pushing this through the board. IRND should go, but other than that, nothing to write home about on the bottom of the board. So that's a flick our banana pie M20. Back the right way up. Before we test out the banana pie M20, I thought it would be a good idea to test it on this most obvious competition, which is far as I am concerned, or the recipe pie M20. Which clearly has the same form factor, and the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus, which is physically twice the size, and the Banana Pi M20, is very much between these are pies in terms of price and actual power. In terms of price, the best prices I can find online at the moment for the Raspberry Pi M20 are about 10000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
a hub as you can see here to connect in my mouse and keyboard because I've got the one USB port and right now we're booting into ARM VR. And I've been trying various operating systems because there's lots of images available but for many of part. them seem to work. At least for me, I've tried several versions of Android, couldn't get into those. But I have successfully installed RB and 2.4. 1. Running the command line interface and got it online. And that's totally several things. At least this board runs a rather hot. Anyway, here we are riding in an ARM bin. Also 5.41 but with a Ubuntu Xenio desktop. And it works as you can see which is a rather good. The only way problem I've got here is this is running in 7.20p. And whatever I do, I can't get it to rather than any other all resolution than the 7.20p. Frames and I've been through all the configuration tools. Wrong being all that sort and of that's, stuff. And that's the only options I've got. If I go into here into settings and to Where are we display settings is there. I just don't have other options available. And I've been trying Config to go files through, and but things. I'm afraid. Just can't be done, but never mind. I'm still running on bit around the nanopyam r And we can go to things like a wheel processor. It's coming up here, there We've we got are. Libra Office Writer always gonna wheel bring processor. up. And I'm gonna be saying why would you run a processor. On our fng gram, Singapore computer. Because I want to do something it. I always want so to do. So it'll come up and there we, we can are. printer. How they will type hello and put it into the obligatory. Very large letters, which of course. So I think it's the low in a test of my computer. There we are, and I speak That's low there. That's absolutely fine. And we can also know we won't save that. I think the world can lose that we can go to. The internet here we've got. A Chromium browser which works. Perfectly well. I think hopefully it'll come up in a R&D. What we're gonna it's come up. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes, it's getting and there. And we can hopefully go to the world. Favorite website will network. Yes, we can get to explaining computers here in Armbian. But I'd like to try out some operating other operating systems as well. So I think now what I'm going to do is to go fit a heat sim to the board and to try out Raspbian. Greetings, here I am back again. I've now fitted a heat sink onto the banana pad. M201 which is going to be what I'm about to do to this poor little board. And we are now booting into a Raspbian. And you know the size of a text on Indeed, screen. Indeed the text that's just disappeared yet. off the screen. Because that text was at a 1080p. And we've now got text coming back on the screen. Which is clearly not after 1080p. We're back to 7.20p. We've got a uh, little penguins that are We sure. got a quad cool processor. That's very good. And if we wait a year and if we speak We're forward. We're Raspbian. And here we are. We've arrived in Raspbian but we are back in. 7.20p. P which knows I've me. actually tried very hard to get this board running at 1080p and I've only managed the start of the boot process. But if I show you here where it's going to, I'm terminal, just going to go up. I think like, huh? Let's just run up idle. I've been editing the config.txt too. File here in idle. I just like doing it, it in idle. use anything else, but I happen to like idle. We just bring it up on and go down a bit. Air. You'll see my frame buffer is set to a 1920-1080. And more significantly, I've set my HDMI group to Group right. 1, which you see, I'm mode 31, it should be a 1080p 50 frames here and D. But it makes no difference at all, unfortunately. If we look here, under preferences and recipe pi configuration, we should be able to go into a resolution setting. We can't go into resolution setting, it's not so there. So unfortunately for me, at least the banana pi MR, 0 is a 7 20 People, this site is running very nicely in Raspbian. Everything is here is nice and responsive. When go into the uh, task manager, there you can see it's running Not long. taking up too much. Which have good memory just for running so Raspbian. So that's uh, pretty nice. And we can do all the normal things that even got a Minecraft here. If you particularly want to use On Minecraft here. And we can get to we the We can internet. run up in a browser again. Very much the same as we saw in the Armbian. A few minutes ago, but nothing different. Takes a little while to run but up it's Chromium. quite a reasonably large program for little this board to but run it'll up. do it, I'm sure. Will it get there? Yes, it will, and we can hopefully go to the world's favorite website. And will that work? Yes, so we can do browsing and that type of and stuff. And as you would expect. But the thing I really want to do is to here, test out this board relative to the other board.
Vlog Chat RMD Gold Recipe Pi Ling Wan and the Recipe Pi Sana Plus. And so what we're going to do? You might have noticed the RMD code. And these three top all go to just clear this display. Because I like to do that. And I've got sitting in the bathroom there. There is a sysbench command. I've installed a sysbench on this machine. And it's going to affect the prime up numbers. Up to a value of E1. Which could be enough to give us a reasonable test. And you can see it's that number threads equal because 4. Because this is a quad card So let's kick this thing off. I would note that. This board when you install suspense. Installs an early version of 0.4.12 as we can see there. That's significant because this version the of the earlier version will run for the full 1000 factory of prime and numbers. And see how long it takes. Whereas later versions of the as we've discovered in other videos run for a set time and then tell you what's happened but in the But on this particular version of the which we run on all the boards we are testing, we'll see how long it takes the factor up to 1000. And we'll get some comparable time figures. Normally I go into a fast forward mode at but this it point. can't take that long to I finish. I wouldn't imagine. So let's see, clear and be very excited about what is what gonna result do. is gonna come up. Let's just move the window around while so we're we'll doing it. So we'll put that up there. Come on, little board you can get there. Probably getting very hot. Yes I've just touched those. It is getting thing. slightly hot but don't never mind. Hopefully in an R&D it'll give us a result. I once threatened to learn to play to the cover harmonica. moments like this when things were not oh, happening. Oh, there we are. We've got a result. What's it? 62.25 seconds. It's taken to factors prime numbers up to value of 10,000. And you might be thinking, what's irrelevant about well, numbers? Well, of course, we need to have something comparable. And earlier, I ran this on the recipe piling one. And it took quite a while. This is a single card board. So I actually use the command just for a song thread and it gave us a result of 230.6 seconds. So it is the case that the banana pie M20 is about 4 times faster at least running this suspense test than lost pi ling one. I also did a test using the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus and that completed the suspense test in 29.9 seconds. So significantly faster. So there we are. We've got some comparable numbers showing us that relative performance of the Banana Pi M20, the Raspberry Pi Lingua, and the Raspberry Pi Sanye.